Hi everybody, it's Amber. I hope everybody had a great week. I'm here to show you a project that I created using the Basic Gray Fact and Fiction paper line. I made an altered journal for my sister Ginger. She's a stay-at-home mom but has really developed a online, kind of like a Facebook slash I don't know, just like an online business. It's really, really going good for her. She does Crayola buckets, and what they are are a bunch of really great quality Crayola items that she stuffs in a bucket, like a pail kind of thing, like for the beach. And I'm going to try to insert a picture actually here in this video. But what she does is she creates these really great quality Crayola items um, and she fills them in the buckets and then she does them for the holidays. So for Christmas, she'll jam pack it full of Christmas candy and big candy canes and for Easter she'll, Easter she'll do like stuffed bunnies and chocolate bunnies and just all kinds of great stuff. So I always joke around with her because she, you know, her business goes good around the holidays. So I always joke around with her and ask her, hey, did you have any transactions today? You know, because she does it locally. So people come to the house and pick them up or she'll meet them like, you know, in the Target parking lot or something. So I joke around with her. So for Mother's Day, I created her a really cute altered journal to keep track of all of her transactions. And you will see what I'm talking about. But anyways, I used this really cute paper with the really pretty colors and designs and the music sheet paper up there. You can see um, my sister was a music teacher and she's got a music degree. So you'll see how I use that. But I really, really, really enjoyed making this. I used a bunch of the embellishments. Um, Basic Gray, the Fact and Fiction collection had a bunch of embellishments. They had brads and I used a bunch of them. This one I used a ton. They're the game pieces and the Scrabble tiles and I put them over here. I just dumped them out on my desk. But I... I used a bunch of those, and I even used some of the enamel dots that I made out of the pony beads. And it has this really cute cutout page with a whole bunch of vintage, like ephemera, that you can cut out. So I used some of that too. Sorry about my messy desk here. But anyways, this is what I created. I got one of the journals from the Michaels $1.50 spot, or $1.50 bins, you know. And I covered it with the paper and distressed it and just kind of inked the edges and use the Scrabble tiles to spell transactions. So it says Ginger's Transactions, and she loved it. She got a big kick out of it, and she's really going to use it, she said, um, which it, that's what I made it for, you know, so she can keep track of all of her bucket sales and her. She's got other crafty things, too, on her Facebook page, but there's the enamel dots um, I used, the Dollar Tree ones, which are the best enamel, the best pony beads to make enamel dots. But anyways, I used the Scrabble tiles and the game pieces and a bunch of the little um, embellishments that you can get. And I made a ribbon closure here with sheer ribbon. And I just had fun with it. So she can throw this in her purse. You know, I, I hot glued everything so it's pretty sturdy. And she can just throw this in her purse and keep track. It's just got the regular notebook paper, and I did some stamping and a couple of embellishments, embellishments on the inside. Just kind of simple. So I covered the inside and just put one of those pieces of, I think that's chipboard over there. Sorry I'm doing this one-handed. I was trying to do it fast after I completed it so I could wrap it for her for Mother's Day. I used a whole bunch of these $1.50 stamps from Michael's, and I like how they turned out. Um, she's more of like a fun, cutesy girl, and she does candy bouquets as well. So I decided to use all these stamps that I got on clearance at Michael's. That one there, my husband got me, I think, at a craft store. Um, just like an eclectic kind of stamp collection here. And I just stamped every few pages, and just so she has lots of room to write all of her stuff down that she needs to. And I added some some of the celebrated little mini paper bags to tuck stuff in. And I believe on this one, I tucked some just ephemera that she can jot notes down on. I'm trying to do it one handed, sorry. So like I said, just, you know, distressed some of the pieces and added a chipboard tab to the top and did some more stamping. And on some of the pages, I added some tabs, like and just made pockets out of them. Just cute things like that. And then I added some mini file folders. These are also from Basic Gray, but they're not the fact and fiction collection, but they're really cute. I got them for a dollar, like a pack of like 10 for a dollar at Tuesday morning. And then I added some cute ephemera right there. 
just like a vintage kind of office correspondence kind of thing came out of the cutout sheet in the paper and so I just added a few there's another little mini file holder I thought that one was cute and then I think I just added another pocket to the back to the back cover so she could tuck some stuff in if she has little notes or you know receipts or if somebody wants a receipt she can just stick it in there and then remember to give it to them if she throws that in her purse so I just cut this little tag out of the paper line as well. No, actually, that came in the embellishment set, and that little ticket did too. I think either that or I cut it out. And then I just stamped the back and signed it. And so there's my little altered journal that I made for my sister. She really loved it, and she said she's really going to use it because she's been keeping track in just like a, you know, like a generic journal that she had. So like I said, I used the Fact and Fiction paper collection from Basic Gray. I still have a ton of paper left, and I've got some of the chipboard albums too. I might make something with that, or maybe I'll put a kit together and um, for you guys here on YouTube. But like I said, there's some of the really cute embellishments that I used, and Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I hope everybody has a great weekend. Bye-bye.